The other type of simple harmonic motion that we'll be looking at is in the system that we call a pendulum. What is a pendulum? A pendulum is basically you have something hanging with a very thin string with a mass at the very bottom. And then we pull it up sideways. And if it's sideways up like that, gravity starts to pull it back down. And then at the very bottom, because it's got certain speed, it tends to go back up on the other side. And then gravity pulls it back down again. Basically like your grandfather clock. Within certain assumptions that the angle remains small, quote unquote, within 10 degrees or so, then we can talk about this X position sideways back and forth can be described by simple harmonic motion. Of course, you look at this expression and you're like, oh, omega is this. Well, no, of course not. That's only for the spring mass system. Different system, different expression. In fact, you wouldn't even know what spring constant to use anyways, right? As soon as you recognize we're talking about pendulum, we're talking about G over L. So know what system you're dealing with and know the expression you're going for. Which brings us to this question, because this frequency, which we can get by measuring the period, or better yet, a whole series of period, is related to the acceleration due to gravity. So if we can measure this period, this time, in a very precise manner as they have in the question, we can actually get a fairly good measurement of the acceleration of gravity to also a high level of precision just with basically a string and a mass. So in this case, we're given two separate cases where in the first case, we can solve for the length of the pendulum because we're given everything else. And we're going to keep lots of digits and not round off because that time we're dealing with coming up has also lots of digits. And the thinking is that it's the same pendulum, so it's got the same length. With the length, we can then find out the new acceleration due to gravity. Without writing it all out, I know that my T2 is this nice long number, and then this is my L2, so something it all in, you can see how it becomes a very sensitive measurement of our acceleration due to gravity because the acceleration of gravity does change a little bit depending on where you're on the earth depends on your altitude and also the local density of what's underneath you and also your latitude as well because the earth bulges out towards the center so if someday you end up on an alien planet or a moon or something and you want to measure the acceleration due to gravity all you need is a string, a mass, and a stopwatch.